Codex has become a really popular coding agent for a lot of developers. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use Codex as a sub-agent within Goose. If you're new to sub-agents, you might want to first check out this video, where I explain what sub-agents are and how to use them in Goose. All right, let's get into it. The first thing you'll need to do is configure OpenAI as a provider in Goose. You can do that by going to Settings, Configure Providers, and then under OpenAI, select Configure. And here's where you can paste in your API key. You can get that API key on the OpenAI platform site if you go to Settings and API Keys. And if you don't already have one, you can create a new secret key here. Great. Now that you've got OpenAI configured with Goose, the next thing you'll need to do is make sure you have Codex installed on your machine. To do that, you can run this install command here, and then you can run Codex login to log into your OpenAI account. Okay, so the next step is to add Codex as an MCP server for Goose. I find the easiest way to do this is to open up your Goose config file, which you can find at .config goose slash config.yaml. And right here under extensions, you can paste this little snippet. To make things easier, you can copy this code right from our docs, and I'll have a link to this page in the description. So you'll see we're creating a subagent, we're using the codex command, and we're using our OpenAI API key that we set earlier. Now, the last thing you'll want to do is configure the codex agent itself. You can do that by going to the home slash dot codex directory and creating a config.toml file. In here, you can specify things like what model you want to use, set the approval policy to never so Codex can run autonomously, and set the mode to adjust how much access Codex has to things like the file system. And you could also copy all of this from that same page in the docs. So now we've got our Codex agent configured, and we've got it connected to Goose as an MCP server. At this point, if you open up Goose again, you'll see that your subagent is listed as an enabled extension, which means now I can ask Goose to use the Codex subagent to analyze my code base structure and identify the main components. And when I run this, you can see the Codex subagent will start up and analyze my code base. And there you go. Codex is now fully set up as a subagent in Goose. So go ahead and try asking it to analyze your code base or help with your next project. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.